Hello, everybody. Yes, I know my voice sounds like a disaster, but I really want to put this video up because it's already late. So we're just going with what I have. It has been a month and it is finally catching up to me, but that's okay. I'm okay. It's just the voice gone. But I am going to try to keep this voiceover a bit shorter than usual so I can hopefully wake up tomorrow and still have a voice. But welcome to my July plan with me. I am excited about this one because I didn't really use my bullet journal much in this past year, in June. That's part of why I have been a bit MIA from both here and Instagram, which I apologize for. I know I haven't posted in a while and I just, I miss you all because it's a fun community that we have going on here. And I'm excited to start June on the right foot and be posting how I usually post. So for this month, I am going with a bit of a vintage fashion theme. I didn't really know what to do. I think part of that is because I haven't been using my bullet journal much lately. I've kind of lost touch with it accidentally and therefore I just didn't know what to do and I decided to just play around with materials that I know I enjoy and just have fun with it and it ended up looking somewhat cohesive so that's great <laughs> but you might recognize this particular style from about a year ago when I originally started really getting into this ink dabber thing that I always forget the name of the company I will write it somewhere in the screen so that you know what it is I remember basically most of these materials getting them in a trip that I took to Michael's with my cousin about a year ago and I just remember it was a really good day so it was good planning for this month and remembering that particular trip. So you can see in the beginning, I'm just cutting out a bunch of these rub-on stickers or stamps. I'm not sure <laughs> what they're technically referred to as, but I basically looked for all of the ones that look slightly like they could match a fashion, vintage fashion theme. And I just cut them out and then I'm just playing around to see which ones I want to put on each page. Then as for color palette, I decided to go on that vintage look of browns and blacks and then I am will also be adding some pink some light pink which you will see very shortly I decided to use one of my Ziller calligraphy inks in mauve pink mauve something like that <laughs> again I can't remember the name right now I will put it on the screen Ziller inks I think are really really gorgeous they are waterproof which is great and they are very thick which makes them really better and I think they're meant for more of a copper plate or flex nibbed calligraphy not as much for medieval calligraphy because sometimes the flow of it can be a little tricky because they are so thick but I still really love how they look I love how permanent they are which is why I have bought quite a few of them. And then for the calligraphy, I am using, as usual, my Manuscript Leonard nib in a 1.5. And then you will see me also use my Platinum Sentry fountain pen with a medium-sized nib. And it is inked, I believe, with J.R. Bond Lidate. I can't remember 100% for sure if that's actually what I inked it with because it's been a while that I've had this in, but that's I think that's what it looks like. I'm, I'm gonna go with that one. I absolutely love that ink. It just goes with everything. It behaves very well in most pens, and I pretty much always have a pen inked with it. So aside from the rub on stamp, the stencil from the beginning with the ink dabber and the pens, I decided to also use some stickers, and in addition to that, I added a couple of quotes, one from Audrey Hepburn, which is the one I did in this first page, and then you will see a Coco Chanel quote in calligraphy on the first weekly spread. But for now, I'm gonna leave you with the music for the rest of the video because it is honestly a little hard to talk <laughs> and make myself understandable, which is a shame because I, I haven't posted in a while and I was looking forward to talking a bit more on this video, but I guess it'll be the next one, which I promise I will not take so long to make. I I'm hoping to upload this next Sunday and not wait so long between uploads. So I will talk to you soon on that next video and have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye.